Hi everyone, it's Sally, aka Craft and Gal Sal, and today I wanted to show you how I put together another card, and I, I found this fun pastel A2 cards today at Pat Catan's. They're having a um, sellout because they're going out of business, which is kind of making me sad, but anyway, there were 15. 50 A2 size cards in here. They're four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So I am in a spring mood and I saw the green in there and I just knew I wanted to, to make a green card. So um, that's what I'm starting with. I have my green card base. And um, then I found some green card stock. I went ahead and cut my um, cardstock down to size. So this green cardstock base is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then I found some pretty greens in this Basics and Brights card stack that I think I bought at Michael's, but um, I've also seen it at Pat Catan's. Um, so anyway, I looked through the greens and found some pretty greens that I liked, and I picked this one and this one. Um, the polka dot I cut at two and a half inches square, and then this patterned um, one I cut at three and a half inches by five inches. So it's going to sit something like this. And then I also cut another piece of the green cardstock, um, two and three fourths inches square. So it's going to go something like that with the polka dot on top. And then on top of all that, I'm going to put a cute little sticker that I also was inspired by the stickers I found at the Dollar Tree. So here's the little set of stickers that I really loved. Um, this hen caught my eye, and I, I love this guy, that cute little bird. And I love that guy. So I just liked them all. They're really cute and they are, are just something that, that appeals to me. And so, um, and I love these neat little flowers. I already made one card using this one. And uh, this time I think I'll use this flower for this card. But anyway, um, so that's another thing that inspired me to go green along with the spring, springtime. And I have this uh, Stampin' Up! stamp from 2002. It says, Just Because, and um, I just love it. It's very simple. It, you can give this card to anybody just because, so there doesn't have to have a special reason to give somebody a card. I am also going to be using this two-sided tape that I bought at Joann's. Um, it's a half-inch thick, and I'm also going to use this foam... Uh, double-sided foam tape that I got at the Dollar General and I'll be using that. Um, I'm going to be using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink to, to put my stamp on. And then uh, I'm going to be punching a hole with my trusty old hole puncher. And I think I'm also going to be using some of my art glitter glue uh, to glue down the the card to the card base, this uh, card stock. So anyway, I'm going to get started and the first thing I'm going to do is work on putting this pattern paper down on the green card stock. So for that I'm going to use this fun two-sided tape and I hope that spring is inspiring you guys to do some crafting or maybe get out in your yard, do some gardening. I know the lady at Joann's today said she was having fun in her garden yesterday. So, um, And when we were out shopping today, we went and bought a new market umbrella for one of our tables that we have out back. Um, the one that we had was broken. We've had it for several years. It was even broken last summer, but we used it anyway. We kind of found a way to um, uh, set it up. Anyway, I didn't get tape on the corners there, so I'm probably going to add a little bit of glue to that. But now I'm just going to peel off 
this tape and it leaves that nice two-sided sticky sticky on the other side of it. There's a, a little dachshund hair there. I wonder where that came from. So Hilbert and Penny are downstairs being good and I need to put some more tape down the center of this. Um, so I'm enjoying the warmer weather. I, I am not a winter person. And my husband and I used to live down in North Carolina. We were down there for about 14 years and we really, really loved the weather, but we decided to move back home because of uh, my mom and dad being uh, older and their health. They were having some health issues and so I'm glad that we came back because you just you can't get your time back with your parents, uh, with anybody in your family for that matter. Um, so now this is just one of those scary kind of eyeball moves that I do and I never get it perfect. But the thing about um, paper crafting and making homemade cards is that you know, when you give somebody a homemade card, they're really uh, not looking to see how perfectly you made it. Um, they're just um, thrilled and thankful that you thought of them and gave them a card. So that's, I just do this for fun. It's relaxing. It's quiet. I get to be in my little craft studio, which is a fancy word for extra bedroom that has all my craft stuff in it. So I used to call it my craft room, but now I call it my craft studio. And uh, since I do recording now, Anyway, I'm going to try to get this done quickly because I know nobody likes to watch long videos. And, uh, you know, I have it all pre-cut, so hopefully that'll take some less time to show you how to do it. So anyway, there's my two pieces. I have them mounted on the cardstock. I'm going to cut a little hole at the top. So I'm going to put some ribbon in the top of this card. And again, I probably ought to do this just on the corner so I'm not too worried about getting it centered. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is get my ribbon and uh, get this prepared with my sticker. So I am going to pause it and I will be right back. Okay, I got my ribbon and I'm just going to feed it through the top here and tie just like you were going to tie a bow in your shoe. I'm just going to tie a little bow here. Hello. Just like that. And I think I will trim off. I like to kind of trim it at a little angle. Like that. And now I'm going to put this uh, double sided tape on the back. Oh no, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to just put this, uh, I'm going to mount it flush. So I'm not going to do that yet, um, but I am going to go ahead and stamp sentiment on there. My little just because. And I'm going to kind of put it in this corner. Oh, and I made a little smudge, so hopefully my flower can can go right over top of that little smudge. It sure can. 
Okay, so this, I think I'm going to add a little bit of this foam tape to the back of this flower. So I'm just going to cut it. And it looks like I need to make it a little bit smaller. Add a little more to that. Nope. Put this piece. I just don't want it to to have too much give. Well, that's good enough. All right. So let's put this on here. Oh, that one's already off. Yeah. All right, so let's see if I can cover up that little smudge there. And I sure can. All right. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Just because. I like it. All right, so now I'm going to use my art glitter glue. As it's dries very quickly and um, this way if I do get it a little a little crooked I still can wiggle it around a little bit you, you have to do it very quickly though because it does dry it sticks really really well all right so I'm going to go about there not too bad. And again, it's certainly not perfect, but it's fun and I like it, so that's good. Okay, oh, I think I'm going to use also my uh, glel, uh, gel glitter pen. It's an Amaza pen and it's a pretty green color, so I'm going to go around the edge. I think I'll go around the edge of this. Put a little bit of stitching here. So again, I'm going to pause the video and I will come back um, after I get this all stitched so that we can save some time and you don't have to sit here and watch me do that. So I will pause and be right back. Okay, I have all my stitching around the edges and now I'm ready to mount this whole thing on my card base. So I'm going to grab my art glitter glue. You can use any kind of glue. Um, I just recommend you uh, use some sort of strong liquid glue when you're adhering your um, cardstock um, just to make sure that you have a nice strong permanent bond. And make sure that you're putting it on your card base correctly, the correct way, and just try to eyeball it so that you get it on there as straight as you can be. And there's a little bit there on the edge, no problem. Um, it dries clear, so you don't have to worry about it. And there's my card. And it's a little bit crooked. It's not that straight, but you know what? It's really cute. And I think that my friends and family will still enjoy getting this card in the mail. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I have another card here that I made earlier that uh, just has a different sentiment on it, but it's still basically the same card. And um, I also cut out a bunch of extras, so I plan on um, putting this together. And I've got a few of these um, stickers that I bought at Dollar Tree, so I'm going to give these away to somebody, um, just a little kit for you to make a card and it's all cut out for you and ready to go so um, all you have to do is like and subscribe to my videos and um, your name will go into a drawing to uh, hopefully get one of these little card kits um, uh, subscribe to my videos and um, enter your name on my blog site 
um, to subscribe to the email uh, newsletters and that's how you get your name I'm sorry you have to go to the blog and um, subscribe to the email so but anyway that's all I have for now and I hope that you have a wonderful time crafting and I will see you the next time bye <music>